Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another out and about video for you guys today. I'm in Burbank, California, yet again for another very special event over here at Dark Delicacies in Burbank. But I'm with a very special guest today, the amazing Luna Meow. What up, girl? Hey, I'm nervous. You're nervous? Yeah. Because they don't—they don't know right now what we we're about to do. No. We're about to go there for a DVD signing for the Living Among Us and. Uh, so Thomas Ian Nicholas and uh, Andrew Keegan are both going to be there. Yes, and, uh, I'm kind of nervous because like I had crushes on both of them at one point. So. You had crushes on both yeah, of them? Yeah, so All right. I'm a little scared. Alright, so let's walk in and see if you can meet your crush. Let's do this. So guys, we're in Dark Delicacies right now, and these are the movies they're here signing today. The Lost Tree, which is a movie I haven't seen yet, that has like Michael Madsen and of course Thomas Ian Nicholas in it. And the other one that I was at the LA premiere of, The Living Among Us one. You haven't seen that one yet, huh? I haven't seen it, but I remember you said it was really good, so... I thought it was kind of cool, yeah. Well, Luna, we're in Dark Delicacies right now, and uh, Thomas Ian Nicholas is signing my balls. Yeah. Isn't that kind of weird? Yeah, he has both my balls in his hand. Yeah, well, you know, you get, you get a nice pair of balls here. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I know, right? Hey. All right, guys, we're still over here at Dark Delicacies right now with Luna and the man himself, Thomas Ian Nicholas, celebrating The Lost Tree, which is a film I still haven't yet to see, and, of course, Living Among Us. Well, you're in luck, Brendan. They have DVDs here. You can I'm definitely going to be going up there. DVD. That's what I'm talking we're, about. We're, I feel like we're in, like, the sequel vlog from the Living Among Us premiere right now. Yeah, but minus the beer and stuff. Yeah. But uh, also, you've been going on tour for this movie. Uh, yeah, I went uh, to like four cities and did a Q&A in Phoenix, Chicago, Austin, and Dallas, mm -hmm. uh, and then played after shows afterwards. So yeah, yeah. I basically just didn't sleep for like a week. And I think I found out on your on your Instagram that you're going to be performing at was the Whiskey this weekend or yeah, something? Yeah, uh, this Wednesday, actually. It's, this uh, oh, Wednesday. In, uh, in a few days, so the 21st. How long have you been doing music? Because uh, me and her only just found out about it recently when I was looking looking you up on, on YouTube and stuff. I already I know your stuff in movies and everything. Right, right. And then we, we started watching your music videos and we, we thought they were really kind of cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've been... Uh it's actually the 10 year anniversary of my first album. So I released six albums, um, and there are five of them are all original. The latest one, Frat Party, is all my favorite songs from the American Pie soundtrack. Okay. So that's a lot of what the, the full band set will be uh, at the Whiskey. I'm gonna do like an acoustic opening, kind of throwback to the Without Warning days. I've played like 600 shows around the world. That's really cool. I, yeah. Just finding out about it is just super dope. Is, could people find that stuff on Amazon or like iTunes and all that? Yeah, it's on iTunes, it's on Spotify. Um, so you always been into the, the music and everything? Yeah, yeah. Is it, Were you into that before the movies or the movies came first? No, I think movies came first because I started when I was six and mm -hmm. then I started playing music when I was 14 but I started touring 10 years ago. So. Okay. Yeah. Do you have anything you'd like to ask him at all? I, I know, I know, I, I know, I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, she's just... You don't have nothing. You made you made lots of jokes about you know Brendan's balls, but you got nothing for. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how she is. That that's how she usually is. She likes making jokes off camera and things. But is there anything else you'd like to plug upcoming that you you like people to know about? Uh, I don't know, man. I think if you're watching this, then you're already at the right channel. Yeah. You know, watching these vlogs. I, I I personally watched the entire vlog from the Living Among Us premiere, and it was a lot of fun. So. Oh hey man, thanks for saying that. Coming from you, that that's that means a lot, dude. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Yeah, man. Bow. All right, everyone. I'm now with Jessica and. Chad, two of the stars of uh, Living Among Us right over here. I saw it at the LA... Andrew's here too. <laughs> oh no, I know, I know. I'll, I'll get you on a... <laughs> yeah, we... This guy always directing, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a director. That's, all he, that's, all he, that's what he likes to do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, but the, the role you played, Chad, yeah. in this movie was absolutely crazy. Yeah, you had your awesome. hood on and going all nuts. But uh, what, what made you guys want to start acting? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but was, there, was there like a certain movie or actor you liked that I, inspired you to want to start doing something like that? I mean, I started doing junior high. Um, yeah, I started doing plays in school and it was just like, I was very shy and when I got on the stage it was something that like I would make me come out of my shell and mm -hmm. make me, like it was just, I was able to express myself, which I was never really able to do before that, so. Yeah, that, that's what, that's what I kind of like about doing YouTube too. I can express myself in certain ways that I couldn't do before. Yeah. But uh, is there anything you'd like to say about the movie to the people that are watching it that may have not seen it yet? It's a fun ride, you know. We prepared to, to laugh and, and 
and uh, yeah, it'd be scary. You know, it takes you all over the map. It's, it's a great ride. Now we're with the man, the man of the hour over here, the man that made these two movies, The Lost Tree and Living Among Us. What's up, Brian? How you doing? Pretty good, dude. What what made you come up with these, the idea for Living Among Us? Uh, for Living Among Us, I've always had a fascination with vampires, and I got the initial idea after seeing the original Fright Night. Mm. Um, and ever since then, I thought it would be so cool to interview a group of vampires and stuff like that. So that's where the initial basis came, and then many scripts later, and many false startups, and everything like that. Eventually, mm -hmm. when the movie got greenlit, it just completely changed over time, and it became Living Among Us. So, but what what got you into filmmaking? Like, how did you? you know, dive into it for the first time to like make your first feature kind of thing. Was, was Lost Street one of them? Well, Lost Street, yes. Well, here, here's what happened was I actually was a creative director for a company, so I was working on a lot of stuff for visual effects, and working on things like DVDs and everything and, and behind the scenes and documentaries. And then I moved on to commercials, music videos and stuff like that, and then I did my first short film. So yeah, then um, I got the opportunity to, to do Lost Street and with Tom, and we decided to just really make that film, and so yeah. That's how it started out, going from there. And is there anything you'd like to tell the viewers out there about your movies, and if you want to, you know, plug them and where they can find them and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Um. Hopefully, yeah, you enjoy them, and um, you can find them at, you know, all the places like Walmart, Target, and get it online, Amazon, iTunes. So support good people, man. He's a really good dude, nice, friendly person. Thank you. All right, guys, we're still over here at Dark Delicacies right now with the legend himself, Andrew Keegan. You, you said you had a question you would like to ask him. Oh, you want me to ask him? Yeah. Um, God, see, I'm nervous. Uh, I just want to know what it was like working with Heath Ledger on Two Things I Hate About You. It's a great question, and 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 certainly a, an honor to have that experience. When we were very young, and what was interesting at the time was they were flying in. Like, the character well, of Patrick Verona, but and we, we were, didn't know who it was, so it was, a, it was a, we were actually on set before we ever met, met him as a cast, and he arrived late, and um, so it was a, a very interesting beginning, he literally showed up, and I knew it was him, he had long hair, and he had a didgeridoo, mm. and he walked on the elevator, and that's how we met at the hotel, which was like a Marriott or something, um, we had a great time on the set, you know, we talked about that at some of the uh, more recent screenings of the film, he was a, a great, you know, no, great actor, a great friend. We spent a lot of time afterwards, especially the couple of years just after we finished the film, as a couple of unemployed actors running around Hollywood you know, looking for work. And um, yeah, I mean, I can't say enough good things about, about working with him. And Quick question though, um, I just found out that Camp Nowhere is going to be released again in a special edition from Kino Lover. Is it? Did you do that new interviews or commentaries for? That's news. That's news. <laughs> okay, so that's probably nothing new. That's going to be on that new Blu-ray. I just because they're going to release it in the next oh, couple yeah. of months, and I just saw that. Yeah. They didn't tell me. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's messed up. But we need to talk to those guys over there at the Camp Nowhere offices. Yeah, but if you guys uh, like vampire movies, definitely support Andrew Keegan and the you know, cast and crew here of uh, Living Among Us. It's a good film. You will enjoy Blake. Blake is a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like not like crazy crazy, just like you just like kind of crazy. crazy, like good crazy, right? Yeah. You saw the film? No, but not yet. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I know, right? Yeah, get her. Oh, get sorry, her. Sorry, sorry. Get her. Sorry. Okay. Okay. You're just helping them, you know, the interview along. Yeah, yeah. No, but you like to you plug your uh, your social medias out there? Yeah. If you want to find me on Instagram, it's at Keegan underscore Drew. And then, um, let's see, Facebook, you can just probably just track me down on Facebook mm -hmm. by my name, and there's a fan page there. And uh, that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it. Oh, Twitter too, Keegan underscore Drew at Twitter. Yeah, definitely check them out, but thank you, Andrew, for taking the time to talk to us, man. We really do appreciate it, because we all grew up watching you, and we think you're amazing, dude. Well, Mr. Dell, we're about to leave your lovely event over here for The Lost Tree and Living Among Us. We really do appreciate, man, that you put on these events uh, for us horror nerds out there. And definitely check out Dell's uh, website, uh, link down below. What is it? What do you want? What's it called again for them? Oh, they can check out the store website, which is uh, darkdell.com, or check out the Facebook page, or check out the Twitter page, or all that good stuff will be links down below. Universe. Yeah. And they buy this film. Hey, thank you, Dale. You're the man. See ya. We just got out of Dark Delicacies right now, and uh, Luna got her poster signed of The Lost Tree uh, right here, and there's something that happens off camera that you guys didn't see. This girl was all up hugging on, you know, <laughs> Andrew Keegan and everything. No, she's, like, <laughs> she's like, hey, you know what? Is that okay if I just get a little hug? No, it's just a hug goodbye, you know? Because, like, I'll never see him again, so. Yeah, you never know. Well, hopefully. That, that, that's what I said after the premiere. Well, that's true. So maybe I will see him again, and then... 
I don't know. But yeah. I, ha I just, you never know, so I had to get that last one. But I like that. I was like, is it okay if I get a hug? Yeah, no, I said it all scared and everything, but still, it's just like, because it's under like, you know? And I, I like what he said, too. He's like, oh, it's okay. All hugs are free. Yeah, so I was like, Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool. I'm, yeah. gl I'm glad you came along. I'm uh, so happy. Like, uh, it's, yeah, it was a really great time having me. Yeah, I kept I kept telling people that when I was at the premiere and different things that these these people that are making these movies here are really cool, really They're nice. So nice. Yeah. They're super super nice. So like definitely you know support them and check yeah. them out. The movie's out on Amazon right now. Links will be down below. And of course, guys, I got uh, you know Thomas e. and Nicholas to sign a baseball right here. It says uh, to Brendan, pitchers got a big but you know Thomas e. and Nicholas. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Before we head on, you know, to our next destination, yeah. I want—I have something I want to give you. I don't think you have one or anything yet, but you can have a Night Owls Blu-ray. Oh, no way! <laughs> Hell yeah! I know they're not—I know they're not the best movies on the planet, but hey, I had to start somewhere. Oh my god, this is cool! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to give you one oh, real quick. Thank you, Brendan. This is bad. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Right now we're in the famous Mucho Mas uh, restaurant. Right now. What were we doing last time we were here? Uh, we were actually in a, a, a shooting a short film, part of an anthology film called An Hour to Kill. Mm. Yeah. But right now we're in here. I didn't get anything because I'm not, I'm trying to watch the calorie intake right now. But what did you end up getting? I got the my classical. <laughs> hey, what were you? <laughs> oh, actually, I did get something. <laughs> I forgot. I did order something. How did I forget that? That sounds like he's blowing. <laughs> no, yeah. That was a surprise. Oh, oh, thanks. Thanks. No, no, but I, I did. Order. You're trying to lie to the sun. Yeah, no, no. Like, I wasn't trying to lie. Like, I, I was, because I was in conversation with her, you know, talking about videos and stuff, and talking about how we, you know, she met her crush Andrew Keegan and stuff, and you know, got to hug him, and all that kind of stuff. And I forgot I ordered a, a chicken salad. It looks uh, really good too. By yeah, the way. a chicken salad with egg, you know eggs and stuff like that. Not 100% sure what the calories are, but. It can't, be, it can't be as bad as mine. Oh yeah, what, what was it that you got over here? The chicken enchilada plate with rice and beans and chips and salsa on the side. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, we finally left the restaurant and now we're going down this dark road. Luna, where, where are we? I don't know, but it reminds me of a horror movie and I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I, I hope not. Luna? Um... We're still driving down this dark road. What's the sounds? There's a drum circle randomly in the middle of Griffith Park. A drum circle? Yeah. What are we doing? I don't know. Get let's, up. Let's, let's, let's go deeper in. Okay. This is some creepy shit. We're over here by the merry-go-round at Griffith Park. And you said there's a story of uh, a little ghost boy? Yes. Or something that that roams around here legend has it that if you come here at a certain time late at night like we are now that you can see him standing in front of it so i'm not sure if it's in front of it meaning behind the gate or in front of it meaning out here where we are mm -hmm. but either way if we wait long enough we might we might see, see it him. yeah or if we try to contact him we might see that or we may see some vampires because and you know stuff like you know the lost boys mm -hmm. they love merry-go-rounds you know hopefully you know if the vampires do come and try to get us, you know, Andrew Keegan and like, you know, Thomas C. and Nicholas yes. will come and help us because they're experienced in that kind of stuff yes. from living among us. Yes. So that's... I think we'll be okay, but also we could just, you know, get murdered by human living people. Oh, because that's... That, there's like a tribe there's, sound. Yes, there's like a drum circle. Yeah, that's... Like just a few feet away from us. Yeah. We might go and... Investigate. Talk to them later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're coming closer and closer to the sounds. Have we thought of what we were going to say when we approached them? Yeah, we really don't even know what they were doing. Like, this is like... So we're literally just walking into strangers in a drum circle. In the, the middle of the dark at a park. Nice. At Griffith Park. Alright. Oh, God. What's the dog? Are they, in a, are they in a circle? What is going on? I'm, I'm kind of freaked out just a little bit. Luna, I don't think you should be standing next to that van right now. The door is open, and who knows what's gonna happen. I'm sorry, but Luna, come here, turn this way. Turn this way. What is going on over here? There's like a drum circle going on, and- They're gonna wanna know why we're lighting them up. They're gonna sacrifice you. Don't say that. They're gonna sacrifice. Dale, 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 dale.
hell? <laughs> what, what the hell? What, what did we just do? Okay, we almost literally got, well, maybe not literally, but we almost possibly got killed because Brendan started to join the drum circle with random strangers. And then as I was filming, they started circling around behind us. And I'm just like, um, what the heck? And then like, okay, listen, we're over here at Griffith Park. We come uh, driving in, we we're gonna go, like, mm -hmm. you know, look at the, you know, the we're haunted merry go too. The haunted merry go round in the zoo and stuff. But as we were coming here, we heard, boop, 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 as you guys saw in the video, mm -hmm. and uh, we saw the thing that, you know, the merry go round, which was closed. And uh, we, we kept hearing the drums. Mm -hmm. We kept hearing the drums. And I've, me and Luna are like, let's go over there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Such a not smart, unsafe idea. It, but we did it anyway because, mm -hmm. you know, we're stupid. Yes. What was I doing? I, I, I sat there. You sat I played there. the drums with these crazy people. Yes. Uh, In the darkness. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know. We couldn't even see anything around us. The only light we had was on the, my phone. On his phone. Otherwise, it's just, it was really dark yeah. so then i just yeah they just started circling around us and they're like you can't be here unless you get like unless you get in the circle or something yeah that, that, they're, they're starting to be all weird like because we walked mm -hmm. up on them as you saw so i, I ended up say i ended up started playing on my hair learning to film it film it and uh yeah i don't know there was a crazy guy next to me that fell down and thought it was funny and felt <laughs> it was gonna fall down again but yes. i was learning how to drum in the middle of the dark over here at griffith yeah. park soaking wet this video better get one million two million views yeah share this andrew, video around andrew and thomas yeah better follow me on instagram yeah if you guys andrew keegan Please. and thomas uh ian nicholas if you're watching this still guys follow Please. us on instagram facebook and stuff our links will be in the description we're soaking wet right here and uh we're yeah, just having was, a good time here i don't know yeah we're crazy yeah. today i don't even know what's happening <laughs> yeah we never know, but that's what life is about, man. It's having a good time. Well, guys, we've come down to the end of our little out and about adventure over here, going to Burbank, hanging out with Thomas Ian Nicholas and Andrew Keegan. She's had like a crush on them for a very long time, yes. growing up as a kid and everything. And yeah, I, I think they're awesome too. Yeah, they're but, really uh, nice. It was like one of the most randomest days ever. I agree. That's, that's what I like though about yes, the video. Yes, me too. Yeah, like the last video I put up was crazy too. Yeah, but like, I was like, huh? And just to let you guys know, the stuff in that dark park with the drums, that wasn't set up. We didn't know what we were walking into and why or why we did. Yeah, this whole entire day wasn't planned. We kind of just kept doing things and yeah, yeah just that's, went that, with it. That's what a real vlog is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we really do appreciate you guys watching and supporting our videos. Make sure you guys check out Luna's video. She made a video today. She got some weird donuts. Which, yeah. Which you guys will see on her end of the video. And, uh... You have any last words or anything else you'd like to say? Um, you want to say Andrew Keegan, I love you or something? Andrew Keegan, I love you. And Tom Thomas C. Nicholas. Nicholas, I love you. Yeah. And thank you guys for being so cool and so nice. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry that I was nervous, but yeah. 
Yeah, I was kind of like starstruck because you guys were my crushes for a long time, so it was kind of like scary. But yeah, it, even talking about, it, I feel nervous. No, but it's it, cool. it's really cool just knowing like people that we like, you know, watching growing up. Yeah. Are just like really super down, cool They're down, so cool, and down so to earth. Nice. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I I love it, man. I'm, I'm gonna support them to the you know through the rest of their career and stuff. But guys, if you like our videos, give them a thumbs up. Links to everyone's Twitters, Instagrams, and all that good stuff down below. Thank you, Luna, for hanging out with me, running through the water. That was fun, yeah. Messing around. <laughs> At least we're getting a little bit dry now. Yeah. But we'll see you guys all in the next one.